you all, this is like, these are the real urban, you know, pioneers here. Give yourself a hand. Who cares about the snow? Um, I just really, uh, for myself and on behalf of the University of Chicago and really on behalf of the city, want to thank you all for being here today. This has just been a fantastic day. Um, starting, starting with President Zimmer's uh, comments and um, the mayor's address, which was really, really, really uh, provocative and thoughtful. Um, all the panels, Ed Glazier's uh, keynote. I'm leaving here today with a lot uh, to think about, and I hope you all are too. Um, and hope that you think of this really as the beginning of a conversation. And to the extent the university can be in the middle of that and play a part of that and be a partner in that conversation, we, we really hope to continue to be that. Um, so I'm going to turn this over to Michael Krauss now uh, for the last panel of the day. Um, we have just a fantastic um, group of, of participants, and I was just telling them next time we're going to start the day with them and let them go as long as they want. A sunny day, we're going to do it at the beach. Um, and after that, the university will buy you a drink out there, and you can stay until the Cultural Center kicks you out. Uh, so thank you again so much for being here, and uh, take it away, Michael. Okay. Let's give Anne-Marie and the university a round of applause. All right. So. Um, my name is Michael Krauss. I'm president of Market Strategy Group. And as Bob Weisbord was kind enough to say, I volunteer for Mayor Daly and co-chair his Council of Technology Advisors. Um, I am delighted to be here today. I think we're going to have a lot of energy and a lot of content in this discussion. Now, I used to say to Mary Lou Gorno, who was a classmate at the business school, that when I was a little kid, I grew up on Belmont Avenue and went to the Hawthorne School, went to Lane Tech. And I used to look out on the L, and I used to wonder what kind of, Chico what kind of city Chicago was. And one day, my older brother took me on a ride, and we went through all the different elevated lines, and we looked at the city. The three people who are up there today are the future leaders. They are the leaders of Chicago. They're going to take us on an elevated ride through the neighborhoods, through the future of the arts, through the future of business and entrepreneurship, kind of like I did as a kid. Um, the three people in front of you are three of the people that the next mayor of Chicago, if they have their wits about them, is going to turn to for advice and guidance, as well as many others in the room. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to keep it quick today. Um, our panel topic is new voices, new visions, a discussion with the next generation of leaders. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Cheryl, the chancellor of City Colleges, is not able to be with us today. She is closing the colleges right now because of the snow day that we're all going to experience. So we apologize for that. But let me tell you who I do have in front of me. We have three leaders, uh, Madeline Grinstein. Uh, Madeline is the executive director, the leader of the Museum of Contemporary Art. Raul Ramondo. Raul came here as a young man, a lad from Mexico. He's going to talk about immigration. He has created community development with the Resurrection Project, a linkage between the tangible and intangible assets of the city of Chicago, certainly beyond any of my imaginations of what I could do as a child in Chicago. Raul's been named one of uh, six of the leading Chicagoans by Chicago Magazine. And the guy to, to his right, uh, Eric, uh, well, Eric Lefkowski and Brad Keywell. This is Brad Keywell, who's funded Groupon, but not just Groupon. Uh, he's funded Inner Workings. Uh, he's funded Echo Glo Global Logistics. Since graduating from the University of Michigan Law School, he's, been on, he's blazing a path in funding entrepreneurs. And um, uh, there was somebody from Google in the room earlier today. There's a rumor that he turned down a $6 billion offer from Google to sell Groupon, and he's just raised a billion dollars. And in Cranes this week, I'm told that you're funding 10 new companies in Chicago. Let's give all of these panelists a hand. Now, 